Hey growers, John from Horizon Hydroponics here, and you've heard me talk about light in the past, so I'm not going to cover the basics. Please go back and watch one of my other videos for that information, but today I want to talk about LEDs, light emitting diodes, and they're finally worth the bang for the buck. So first, not all LEDs are created equal. Five or ten years ago, we were selling these blurple lights, and they were ugly to look at, they weren't productive, but times have changed. The science has finally met up with technology. Those blurple lights, they're good for veg, maybe, but don't expect much flowers out of those. They have their purpose, they can keep some house plants alive, but they're not ready for a high production garden. Technically, we're concerned with the spectrum, which is created by the diodes. And then we're also concerned about the efficiency. But when we're shopping, we care about cost, efficiency, and coverage. So when we're looking at LEDs, there is a difference between white light and full spectrum light. Plants want full spectrum light. Plants have grown up with full spectrum light under the sun. They get the full Roy G. Biv. Part of the light spectrum that's not considered Roy G. Biv is far red or infrared. These waves are outside the visible light spectrum but happen to put the plants to sleep at night. They regulate the plant's day length, triggering flowering or vegetative life cycles depending on the day length. Some of the brands of diodes that we're working with today are Samsung, which seem to be the top of the line currently, Philips, which are proprietary to Gavita fixtures, and Grower's Choice, which also include an Osram deep red LED. The efficiency of LEDs is measured in PPF, photosynthetic photon flux, which uses the units of micromoles per second. We want approximately 1,000 micromoles per second, or PPF, from end to end in our garden. The higher, the better, but a minimum of 1,000. So PPF, photosynthetic photon flux, measured in micromoles per second. Also, there is PPFD, which is photosynthetic photon flux density, which is micromoles per second per meter squared, so it takes into the actual coverage of the light, not just its efficiency at the meter. So some of the top of the line lights have a joule rating of 2.5 to 2.8. These are top of the line today. Some of the other features that you'll want to notice while you're looking at LEDs is onboard dimming. Sometimes these LEDs are just too bright for your canopy and need to be dimmed. Another factor is how is the heat dissipated? This HLG here happens to be one large board. Some of the other ones have smaller panels which may allow heat to dissipate between them easier. Heat dissipation means you can get the light that much closer to the plant. Some of the advantages of LED over HID are heat. An HID bulb burns close to 900 degrees, where an LED will only be approximately 150 degrees. That's a lot easier to cool. LEDs have a much better spectrum compared to HPS or metal halide lights. Because you're using less wattage to create the same amount of light, you get a higher yield for less cost. Generally, there's a 50% reduction in power consumption when using LEDs. That's because the LEDs draw less power and they also have less demand on your air conditioning overall saving you money. With LEDs, there's no bulbs to replace, there's no wiping of lenses, there's no cleaning of hoods. LEDs are much thinner than HPS, so you can get them closer to the ceiling, which means you have a higher or taller canopy space. And just remember folks, when it comes to LEDs, brand recognition is not everything. It just means they're the first ones to create a brand. Many of these products are coming out of China and using the same components. A couple tips while running your LEDs. Remember, LEDs are much cooler, and you still need to maintain the environment that the plants are in. And so you may have to add a heater during the day, which you didn't need to do with your HPS lights. Because the lights are cooler during the day, your air conditioning will run less, and that will mean you may need a dehumidifier running during the day as well to absorb a lot of that moisture. So remember folks, not all LEDs are created the same. They may have the same driver, but the diodes make the difference. Yes, LEDs are an investment in your garden. They'll last over 10 years. They have typically a three-year warranty on them, and it's over five years of continuous running before there's any type of degradation in the diode itself. Typical payback is within two crops of installing your light. Most brands will cover a 4x4 in veg and up to a 5x5 in flower. Do some research, know what you're buying. They are expensive, but boy howdy do they work. If you have any other questions about LEDs, hit us up on our website, horizonhydroponics.com. Visit our Facebook, our Instagram, or just give us a call. We'll see you next time, gardeners.